you lot, Mark, that today is our Thursday. third day. No. Yeah, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. Yeah, but yeah. We, got, we had Friday as well, so including travel day, it's our fourth day. No, travel day one day here, though, was it? All right, our third full day in, in New, New York, York City. In New York City. I feel like I'm turning into a bit of a New Yorker now. <laughs> Give me some coffee. Oh my god, I love it when you do that. And Tommy's such like so good at No, I'm not. That was terrible. That was, was so bad. That was actually really good. Um, Anyways, as you can see today, the weather is much nicer. Glorious. Much nicer than yesterday. Um, but we are currently on our way. Where are we going this We're morning? We're hunting breakfast from Applebee's. Hopefully. Yeah. A little bit. We go. I won't say pushed time at the minute, but a little it's bit. Kind of short on time. I kind of think we are going to be really. Yeah, I think time. we might be rushing a little bit. Um, but, but we're going to go anyway. <laughs> we're going to go for it anyway because it's something that needs sticking off the bucket list. Yeah. Um, but then we have to make our way to Central Park for ten o'clock because we have our pedicab tour where we're going to get taken to the movies. <laughs> I'm so I excited. Am Do you know so what? Excited. I'm excited just to see Central Park. I am. Not we haven't even seen it. Like, we've actually not even seen it. Everyone been... says, go to Central Park when you get to New York. We haven't even seen it. We've been nowhere near it. We flew over on the helicopter ride, actually, but I mean... Yeah. And my heart was still pounding because... You didn't even know. <laughs> like, we got back, I was no. like, did you see Central Park? She's like, we no. did Central Park. I was like, <laughs> we did. <laughs> <coughs> anyway, so we're going there this morning. What are they called? Them things we're Helicabs. going on. We're going, we're going on one of them, so someone's going to like bike us around. And take us to all where movies were filmed. Which I like, literally alone, cannot wait. Where else? Before. I have no idea. I think they're the main two you think of, don't you? You think yeah. of Home Alone and Elf. And then like up this way, there's a lot up this way. So there's like Trump Towers is up here apparently. Um, there's the hotel that um, Kevin stayed at in Home Oh my alone. god, we have to go to that. So we there's have a lot up it. this end. It's got uptown, I think. <coughs> um, so there's a lot up here to... To see. see and do but apart from that this morning we haven't actually got any other plans we're, we're just going to see where the day, day takes us are in tonight when we go to the rooftop cocktail bar. yeah which that would be nice we haven't been to yeah. one of those yeah. yet we've been shattered every night haven't we <laughs> <laughs> it takes out of you new york it really really like it's a whole other level it's a bit different than i've ever been anyways okay. if you are excited Sounds to spend good. another day with us in new york then please right, don't forget to give the video a big thumbs up make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so that you don't miss any of this series and let's all just pray and keep our fingers Across that A, Applebee's have a table for us. Yeah. B, we can find Applebee's, and C, we don't miss our little tour thing yes. around Central Park. Oh, we've managed to get an Applebee's. Do you know what? I actually thought it was going to be heaving, and I thought we might not get in. Just off the beaten track, though. Oh, there's more than oh, one. Oh, one in in Times Square was rammed all the oh, time. Okay, okay. So. It's really quiet. Let me just like. Oh, in breakfast tacos. What? <laughs> What? You do. Breakfast tacos. And what's on them? <laughs> oh. Taco shells stuffed with. Stuffed with melted cheddar cheese and bacon bits served with a side of breakfast potatoes. Mm, that, that actually sounds incredible. Yeah. Maybe we should both get two different things and then. Well, yeah. I feel like I'm going to go pancakes. Well, that's the thing. Look at them pancakes. Like, literally, look at them. Are they? <laughs> Fried chicken pan- no, I couldn't eat that, I'm sorry. <laughs> what else is there? Uh, oh, that looks, that looks good. good. Those look good. Waffles. Well, Anyways, yeah, so we've managed to get in, but we are actually quite pushed for time. We've got like 15, 20 minutes. We have 15, 20 minutes in here, and then it's like another 10 minute walk. Yeah. Thank you very much, thank you. Do you want a few more minutes? Yes, yeah, please. please, thank you. Thank you. Um, yeah, we've got a 10 minute walk after this, and so we've got to be at the... Yeah, the meeting point for our pedicab talk, which you've got to be there 15 minutes before. It's currently like 20 past. And we've got to be there at quarter two. Yeah. So we've not got long, but I really don't think it's going to be an issue because it's really quiet. The food in New York just seems to like... Yeah. Which I'm a bit like, hmm, <laughs> is that good? <laughs> Do you know what I mean? So we're both going for the breakfast tacos. They look so good. Do you know what I really hate? I mean, I, mean, I don't know if I love or hate it, but the fact that there's calories on menus, like these pancakes, in fact, guess how much, how many calories do you think is in them? Comment down below, pause the video and tell me how many calories you think. Now, we are, um, I mean, I do sometimes track calories. You're not like I that. I don't track calories. But, I mean. I would look at that and think, cool. 2,500 calories in some pancakes. In these <laughs> ones, oh, these are a little bit less. 
1,400. We're not looking, we're not even counting calories whilst we're away, but anyone can look at that and think, wow, <laughs> calories. So many calories in. But calories don't matter when we're in New York. But my whole point was, I just was absolutely gobsmacked by the calories in there. I think that's absolutely crazy. Um, we were stuck between, I was going to go for the waffles, because I think they look really nice, these ones. And like also this, this breakfast sandwich. If I had more time, I think I'd go for that. Yeah, yeah. That does look really good. To be fair, it all looks good. Like that, that looks really good. But I just the taco. I think I'm going for tacos because yeah, I've never heard of breakfast tacos. Yeah, it's pretty cool to have. yeah, yeah. So that's what we're gonna go for. And um, also, what I was gonna say when we was walking through Times Square this morning. In fact, not even just this morning, just every time we've walked through Times Square. If you've been to New York, or if you've come into New York, you'll see, or you'll see. There's like Disney characters dressed not up. Not just Disney, there's all sorts of like... Marvel, like loads, yeah, like... Characters. Yeah, like characters dressed up like Minnie Mouse, Mickey Mouse, Spider-Man, all stuff like that. Which is all well and good, but there's like 30 of them together. And they hound you. But the thing that really annoys and upsets me is like Minnie Mouse, for example, she'll, you'll see she's got leggings and trainers on and just like a Minnie Mouse dress and then the hat, like the, the, big, head. the big head. But they just walk past and kids are like that and they just lift the, the no mask head. thing up, not the mask. Down for a they, yeah, they lift the Minnie Mouse and Minnie Mouse is up here and you can see the woman and she just lifts it back down. And I just think for kids, like I know, I know it's not that deep, but for a kid. That could crush their dreams. <laughs> this is not right. I mean, but they all do it. Yeah. They all do it. Like literally, though, they come over. If you see like us taking a picture, for example, me and Eric taking a selfie in Times Square, we'll come and try and like all like run yeah. to the selfie to try and join it. So then, then try and charge it. Like I don't know. We haven't been that's caught, really like, bad. That's these really bad. So like. Level. I'll like shake your head, but there's so many people <clears> like that. Like they're all over. They're not just in Times Square, but. People did tell us about this though, like, oh, yeah. like that one that Tommy was just saying, the um, running into pictures, so like Tom said we could be taking a photo and Minnie Mouse will run, and if we accidentally take it and don't notice she's there, they try, they'll try and they'll charge try and for it. Pound money, it's really bad. Give a bit, but then there's like 30 of them stood around you. Oh, I should have got a cup of tea. Breakfast tea. Mm, I'm just looking at theirs over there, it looks delightful. Mm. <laughs> it looks very nice. Anyways, so we've gone for a fresh hour in and tacos, but um, yeah, not that it's a massive deal, but I just think more for kids. Like, not even Minnie Mouse, just everyone. They just take them, and it's like the full on heads, like they have yep. at Disney, like the full on things. And, and they just sit with it up. I just, I don't like it. It, it grinds on me. It winds me up when they try and join the photo. It really annoys me. It does. That literally came so quick. What would you say, Tom? Seven minutes? <laughs> uh, literally, it's half past. And it, we ordered 25, so five, literally five minutes. Five minutes and my breakfast tacos. Oh my God, that actually the looks. Smell. Have you smelled them? Mm. That smells incredible. I already know I'm going to like these. Oh my God, I've missed these. <laughs> oh, mm -mm -mm. This is what We're going to have to do a taste about. test of these. Yeah, let me do a taste test for you. Or let me film you do a taste test. Oh, she's dropping condiments all over. Oh, that looks so good. That looks so good. How are you even going to eat that? I'm not going to get the full... I'm just going to go for it. Go for it. Who cares? <laughs> I mean, I feel like I know that's already going to be good. Messy to eat. Yeah, but... That's so good. I'd rather it be messy to eat and nice than... Oh my God, that's so good. Yeah? So good, love them. And I didn't even get like the best bit. And it's rotten. And it was still so good. <laughs> You're ready. So you're not a massive fan of the bacon here, are you? Right? I've just had a bit of bacon, it's smoky. No, I'm not. <laughs> it's such a weird concoction because I've never had like anything like that ever before, have you? No. Do you like it? Absolutely love that. <laughs> so good, just like that's like a 10 out of 10 breakfast. It is Ooh. unbelievable. That is so good. That, that was a good shout, wasn't it? That's a great shout. Anyways, we've got like five minutes to eat this, so we yeah. better hurry up. <laughs> we just got here. Perfect timing, to be honest. I don't yeah. even know what the paddock no was about. No whatsoever. Um, but for anyone wondering, was this done through Facebook? Yeah. Yeah, it was recommended to us by a, 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 friend. a guy that I work with, his wife came to New York just before us and she was like, you need to do this. 
So it, um, it's all done through Facebook, and then you book, you can book online through Facebook. It's, it's, we'll yeah. leave their Facebook name yeah. down below in the description box in case you want to book it. But really meet well outside organized. this bakery called Magnolia. Magnolia bakery. bakery, just through the back of not far from Apple Times Bakery. Times Square. Um, right minutes. at the entrance to Central Park. It's, yeah. Um, and this is what it looks like. You can see all the bikes. Um, and we've, I just said to Tom, how long is this? And he said an hour and a half. So apparently you could book an hour or an hour and a half. Yeah. I'm so glad we've got an hour and a half. Oh, yeah. Well, again, she recommended going for an hour and a half. She did that an hour and a half. And she said that even that didn't feel like long enough. So. Right. Well, I'm glad we've got an hour and a half. Do you know what? This is one of the main things I've been looking forward to because I just, I've said this to you guys yeah, before, um, but I love it. I love seeing like the behind the scenes of things. So seeing like where everything's been filmed, I just think that's going to be incredible. But I can see blankets. Uh, uh, London. London. Yeah. Essex or London? London. 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 Not Essex. Yeah, okay. London. Oh, I love this. Oh, thank oh you very perfect. Much. Thank you. you. Business class. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Well, thank you. <laughs> yes. Yes. First time in New York. Yeah. yeah. Excited. Here we go. Talk to me nice, talk to me honestly Look in my eyes, don't let it fall on me Say you a good guy, make me believe it Don't wanna hear it, I wanna see it See how, free wine When we see me, John Wick John Wick Wow uh, Madagascar Face of it, exactly do you know what? Now You See Me is one of my favourite films. Oh really? Yeah. yeah. That's love that. That's jumping on that. I feel like I need to go home and watch them all again now. So that one there yeah. is no, from Home Alone. Yeah. <gasps> Do you know how it is inside? Yes. How it looks inside. Oh my god. Yeah. We need to like walk past it and see, see if we can see inside. Yeah, wow. Maybe that's where that is. Yeah, this plaza photo in the actually in the Billiards Road is most cheapers. Two thousand dollars per night. Inside the buildings, uh, one hundred six dollars just coffee. Wow. 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 Yeah. I don't want to I didn't believe for this, that's why yesterday I checked it. Yeah, well you went in for a coffee. <laughs> wow, as if that's that. That one is down the walk down tower. You know, like what? Really? Yeah. But right now he's sold, actually. He told to second owner, you didn't, you don't have to change name, just Trump Tower. That's why Trump Tower, he didn't change. Oh, that one's Trump Tower there? Yeah. yeah. Wow. Actually, he sold a year ago. Wow. Year ago. Wow. Trump Tower. That's, that, I, I can't get over that hotel because it doesn't look like, do you think it does? <laughs> so I'm going to show you one video. I feel a little bit, um, Oh, Starstruck star by a hotel. <laughs> Antrim Tower. Antrim Tower. And apparently Tommy Hilfiger owns that hotel as well. Tommy now Hilfiger we're going Port where? Where are we going? We're going to go to the Home Alone Bridge. The Home Alone Bridge. With the pigeon lady. Yes. It's Home Alone and Elf for the two that I'm like, oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> now you see me got you though. Yeah. And hey Jesse as well. <laughs> I'm going to go home and have a marathon watching all the films. <laughs> the views are just incredible. We literally couldn't have picked a better day to do this. The weather's gorgeous. Picture. Oh, yeah. So that bridge there. Here. Wow. <laughs> so he was literally running down this path. Yeah, but, uh, yeah, from here. But actually, if you remember, this lake, it was frozen. Because it was 35 years ago. It was crazy cold. So if anyone's seen Madagascar, it, where points where... Oh, where this. It? It's through there, isn't it? Ah, yeah, you it's can through see there. It. See, they've designed obviously the Madagascar Zoo on Central Park Zoo. This cartoon actually, like, it was copied from here. Yeah, ah. yeah, yeah. So we took inspiration from it oh, almost. Yeah. This is so much fun. This is actually unbelievable. Actually, girls. Yeah, where was that? No, actually, this area from the Gossip Girls, but it's not taken there. Right. I'm going to go there, I'm going to show you. Oh, Let's perfect, see. thank you. So, we also uh, saw um, Stuart Little as well, didn't Stuart we? But house. we wouldn't have been able to see it. We would never have seen the stuff like that that you need to book these pedicab tours because you you would never have seen that. No. Like, like you wouldn't have, even if you walked past it, you probably wouldn't have even known that that was Stuart Little's house. So what have we seen so far? We've saw Hey Jesse, 
here, Jesse. Uh, now you alone. see me. Now you see me. Well, that carousel that's been beaded. Loads, it was John Wicks as well. John Wicks. Stuart Little, Gossip Girl. Trump Towers um, and the hotel. Because like, I feel like you could walk around this yourself, couldn't you? And you wouldn't. You would, you would wouldn't. Never know. You'd think, oh, I'll be able to tell where things are, but you wouldn't. No chance. You no. wouldn't have found that bridge. No. Never have found that bridge where the pigeon lady was. No. You just wouldn't. Okay. I'm gonna show you which villains were sitting here. Just one second. <gasps> it's Avengers. Tour. Avengers. The circle is here. Keep it running. Okay, no, no problem. Oh wow. It's too little. So that's here. Next one. Films. That is incredible. I am. Um, well and truly starstruck right now I for am. a place. Do you know what actually I think this is probably the main one where we are right now. This is the main one for the movies. Um he's just shown us video. I don't know how much we we could get of his phone. Um, yeah because it's really good because he keeps showing us the film on his video yeah. and then like you look up and then and he's, he's like that's there. Honestly this guy is incredible. Incredible. Such a good tour guide as um, well. We've just he's just to like go and have a little pot around. We've got like 15 20. minutes because this is obviously the main place in Central Park where all the movies are filmed. So I'm gonna, right, I'm gonna try and remember as many of the films as I can. Yeah. So here, running through there, we've got John Wick. If you can imagine, John Wick chapter two, he tells him basically that he's got 24 hours or whatever go. And then John Wick runs off through that thing with his dog. Yeah? Yeah. We have Stuart Little yeah. with the aeroplane. The aeroplane flies through. Gossip Girls. Gossip Girls, which I've never seen, but yeah. I thought he showed us a video of Gossip Girls. There's another one. Oh, what was the other one? It was quite... Stuart Little was first. Any third of Gossip Girls. Gossip Girl, John Wick. I can't, I can't remember, remember what else he showed us. I can't. <gasps> and then another thing he told us, we saw this statue and he's like, do you see that statue? And we're like, yeah. And he said it's so-and-so, it was a man. And he was like, he was born in York, I was from York. And he bought Manhattan or part of Manhattan or something. And apparently New York used to be called New Amsterdam. But because that guy bought Manhattan and was from York, he yeah. renamed it New York. And he's like, so do you know where York is? And we were like, yeah. Because like when he asked us where we were from, we said we were from London because nobody really knows where no York is. No one over here knows where anything is. So we just say London when we're, yeah. when we're over here. But then when, then he, when he was, he was like, London's not really that famous over here. York's more famous because of that man. And we, were we were like, like we're from York. So the fact that... <laughs> He, it used to be called New Amsterdam, now it's called New York. And New York the funny that, story actually, I was joking with Ellie the other day and I was like, do you know why it's called New York? She's like, why? I was like, well, they, they loved York. No, and you, then, said, you said, do you know why it's called New York? And I went, let me guess, because it's a new version of York. And you went, yeah, I was his old York, this is New York. <laughs> yeah. He was like, proper trying to have me on, like and not I, being and serious. I was just a complete and it joke. was legit true. And it, yeah, pretty much was true. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, he said, over there, you can see big turtles, so I need to go see them. Yeah. Oh, that's so cute. Oh. <laughs> she found them. <laughs> they're actually. I thought, I thought they were going to be really massive. I won't lie. Yeah, I thought. I thought. Well, there might be massive ones. But we, there's quite a few kicking around on this water's edge. You know, that's one thing I'd love to do. I'd love to go swim with the turtles. Swim with them. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't think we're going in here, yeah, but. Like uh, so yeah. Well, these little guys just swimming around. Elle's found a little friend that she's uh, taking a little liking to because he's trying to get out but sitting in cart. So Elle's just trying to give it some encouragement. So oh, it's gone. No, oh. I see it. I see it. It's really shallow there. It is really shallow there. Oh, he's really, see, he's trying. really trying so hard to get out, bless him. Oh, come on. Oh, the, with the current. Oh, he's oh. giving up. Gone back. His friends are coming to save it. <laughs> We've been walking around for about 10 minutes now, and um, Els is here, <laughs> still uh, still fascinated by the little tortoises in the uh, in the river. Like she just, just I, <laughs> I just can't tell you how much that girl loves like any form of animal. She just takes like a liking to them and just like almost adopts them. Um, but yeah, just what a beautiful place this is. Anyway, let's go find her. So Tom's just 
got this picture up. I've just got the John Wick pictures of Central Park, right? So here, here, is here, and is there. Literally, hang on, if I hold this here, yeah. That is there. What the hell? It's <laughs> mad when you see it on a phone and then you see it there. Also, the this place, phone. this place is just absolutely, it's just stunning. It's one of the most stunning places, isn't it, Tom? This is one of the most beautiful places I've seen in New York. Like, just look at, look at the roof. Just absolutely gorgeous. New York's very much like London. There's just stuff going on everywhere, but here it seems to be like that times a hundred. Like, there's just a music video going on behind us here. The guy filming a music video. Down here there's a girl like having a full thing you can't see. She's having like a full photo shoot. There's like big cameras with like the big white drop things behind her and everything. And it's just like the guy was saying about movies, like there's movies filmed here and things filmed in this park every single day. Um, it's it's you manic. Would you? you would have no idea whatsoever and it just happened. Like this is just if you were doing this anywhere else in the world, filming a music video, you'd have a crowd of people around you, but Everyone just minds their own business, no one, you know, it just is what it is over here, isn't it? It's so, I feel like you forget that it's such an iconic, like even just this is such an iconic place. Yeah, place. this is like a mad iconic place. <laughs> <laughs> Yes. Friends fountain. No, you don't know. I've never seen Friends. What? I know about it. You've but never, never seen Friends. No. <laughs> what? <laughs> it is not original one because originally Friends fountain is not in front of all. It's because that one is a replica. Actually, ah. this building was taken in the studio of Los Angeles, California. Ah. That one's just replica. It feels like a party every day. Hey, just say. Hey, just say. So this, for anyone that doesn't can't recognise it, is from the snowball fight in Elf. If you look up here, when they, when Buddy and I can't remember the other guy's name. What's the kid's name? Don't know. When they had the snowball fight, this is where it was filmed. <laughs> That's amazing. So we've stopped off for a little coffee, a little refreshment break, and then we've just had a little wander through Central Park. What did we think? Penny Cab Tour, could not recommend that enough. So just like Ellen Star just died there. Eh? Mm, that's you have good. to do that. It is so, so, so it good. It would definitely go in our top three things. That will be in my top three things. So, so good. Yeah. And do you know what? I think we did say on there, but I think it's good as well because you, you would not recognise all those no, places. No, you wouldn't. No chance. There's no way you would know. Even if you like know that film inside and out, there's just no chance. Yeah. Absolutely no chance. So, and do you know what? The guy. Chris. It was really, really lovely. I think it was Chris. <laughs> <laughs> it was really, really lovely. Um, and like, he went above and beyond. Like, he did. He kept st like stopping to take our pictures and then like checking them. Are you happy? Do you want me to do some more? Well, it was like, like, yeah, it was like really good with photography. So he was taking all sorts of pictures, whereas was, the other pedicab drivers weren't doing that. No, and like they were just parking up and saying, "Go take a picture." Whereas and like as well, the other thing, like when we were going to like Friends, he was putting the Friends music yeah. on all boss, which you'd have seen. He knew that I loved. Hey Jesse, so we put the Hey Jesse theme tune on. Really, um, really. He was good. really interesting as well because he said he does vlogging. So he's like, "Are you vlogging?" And we were like, "Yeah." It was like, "What for?" We're like YouTube. So he's like really interested. He was like, yeah. "Stop off, go like do some vlogging." But like, it was just lovely, wasn't it? Mm. It's was just really. Well, interesting. they were also telling you facts about all sorts. He was, he was so knowledgeable. He was telling you like, for example, the most expensive. He showed us the most expensive apartment in New York and then gets a video on his phone of how much that sold for him. That's one thing that I love that he kept getting videos on his phone yeah, and did. then like like to back up what he was saying almost. Like yeah. he was like, right, so this is in that film and then he'd show us it on his phone or like this building is this much and then he'd show us like a news report on it on his phone. Yeah. Like it was just do you know that's the one thing I'd say about this guy and also the guy who did the Statue of Liberty tour like them and just how knowledgeable they are. How yeah. they remember all that information is just crazy to me. Um, and we picked, we could literally not have picked a better day. The weather oh, has been stunning. It, I'm actually too warm in this jumper. Like, it's, it's really It's warm so today. nice. One thing I will say, what we were just saying actually, you know what we were saying earlier on about, you can get it for an hour or an hour and a half. What's it called? Pedi... Pedicab Tar. I always forget what it's called, Pedicab Tar. The difference, we think, is when we stopped off at that big place where we told you where like John Wicks and stuff was filmed, we got like half an hour to have a look around. So we think that's the difference. We think if you just booked an hour, you probably wouldn't you have got that break almost. 
Yeah. Um, so I, I think that's the only difference. I don't think you see anything more. I just think you get to go and have a little yeah. potter. Anyways, we have now come. I haven't even looked over there yet, but wow. That that's is it. full on it. We've now come to the Home Alone um, hotel. Like Because when, when he showed us it down there, you could only really see the top of it and it just didn't it didn't actually do much i thought that was going to be the thing where i was like wow but it wasn't no so you, obviously central park is to the right but then it's like foresty sort of area to here and then it's the hotel so from the from inside central park you don't really get the full no full frontal of no. this hotel like in central park all you saw was that literally that which great but yeah. doesn't really whereas from when i wear a stud that is where on. the limo with cheesy, extra cheesy pizza picks him up from. I was just about from. to say that and then he goes and then he hands him the pizza like oh my god how I... And that's where the limo I... picks him up from right there. And like just them that guys way. stood outside like That's where I don't he know runs what in when they're chasing him and he runs through. Incredible. Oh my god. And also someone that I know when I put the thing on my Instagram. You guys have been amazing with the recommendations by the way. Like we've literally been going through and being like yeah let's do that let's do oh, that. Absolutely. Someone actually said if you go in the Home Alone Hotel I don't know how true this is we're going to go try it in a minute. Um, apparently, there's a place to eat downstairs, and it's like a full-on. Did they say shopping mall? What yeah, did I say shopping centre. Shopping centre. Apparently, if you go in and go to the basement, there's somewhere to eat. Which, to be fair, we're not really that hungry, but there's somewhere to eat, and there's like a shopping mall, and then there's three public toilets for anyone that wanted to know where free. But that's actually a thing because toilets to find in New York is very hard. Yeah. So that is actually a thing. Like if that you're in that. Central Park and you're around this area, you need the toilet. Apparently, we only want to go in. I'm not gonna lie, just to see the hotel. Yeah. So we're thinking if there's something in the basement, we can like, oh yeah, we're going down there. But like, actually, we just want to see the hotel. I ain't seen anyone just walking here though. Me neither. Stood like seven or eight minutes, and there's not one person that's just walked in. Me neither. We can't go in where them guards are. I think we need to go in the next bit. We're gonna go try anyway because I need. I feel like that's gonna be like iconic when you're walking and you're like, whoa, in it. I think it'll be amazing. Right, let's go. Let's go try. The famous doors. <laughs> oh, this is crazy. We've literally just come in when there's loads of other people coming in, hoping for the best. Wow. <gasps> wow. Wow. This is crazy, isn't it? Tom, how do you get to the basement? Where's the lift to the basement? Wow. Go down here, Tom. Oh, the shops let's go to the shop because it did say it did say at the at the, re, at the way you check in hotel guest only so wherever there's not a hotel guest only sign right let's go down guys this is surreal we were stood outside we went the basically the first entrance we showed you wasn't the one where kevin goes into it. i'll show you when we get out but there was like security guards and around the other side it said hotel guests only around this side it didn't so when it was busy we just came in but I think you can because if, if you weren't allowed in they would have stopped you. Yeah. Oh how do you get oh lifts. Um, no basement Tom. Terrace room. Let's go. This is like beautiful isn't it? This is incredible this is one of them places that uh, it reminds me a bit of um yeah you feel a bit out of place. <gasps> Even the lift. What the hell? Yeah, so as I was saying, it even what smells it, it even smells it kind of like the basement. Really? Yeah, that's where that's where the stuff is. One. Oh, I've just taken us to floor two. No, we were on one. No, we were. <sighs> Don't think we want to be down here, do we? Okay. Let me know what's down there. Right, go to where's we on? Were we not on three? I don't know. Right, let's just try one. <laughs> yeah, on the second entrance, it didn't say hotel guests. Oh, did it? Don't think it did. I when they were no, talking, loads of people went in, so I came in as well. Oh, we weren't just here. No, we weren't, but.
No outside food allowed on property. This is absolutely gorgeous. So where's the shopping mall and like food? Ah, oh, maybe this is where the food usually is. So nice restaurant over there. Tom, I think this. Do you see anyone else? <laughs> no. So this is where I don't think we should be here. Physical therapy. Okay, so the whole like shopping mall food. Unless we've just missed it, we can't find it. Um, I think that was supposed to be it. Maybe it's seasonal. No, it can't be seasonal, can it? I don't, I don't know. know, but do you know what? I'm just glad we got in the hotel just to have a look. Yeah. We'll show you as we've out, but I'm not going to like make it obvious just in case. I'm not oh, bad. this is a grand ballroom. Oh, mm. Ooh, okay. <laughs> right, so. Oh, so the third floor is a grand ballroom. The shops. What's that then? I don't know. We don't know, but we've got in. That's all that matters. All that matters. And loads of other people will come in as well. It won't just like us. Tommy, are these the shop? Are these like the mall? Is this like the mall here? These are like shops, aren't they? Yeah. Maybe. A mall, you think? No, no, I know, but a little bar. The Palm Cot, the Rosé Bar. I don't know, but just, wow. Look at that marble. <laughs> it's absolutely so like luxurious looking. That's the hotel lobby in there. I'm guessing that's where. Is that the only bit there? Where you check in? Is that where he checked in? I don't know, but. Is that the elevator? No, it's not elevator. No. There must be more through there, but I don't think we're meant to go in there. But yeah, this is the entrance as you come in. I don't think any of this bit's in the film, is it? I don't know. I don't know. I feel like I need I to go like home and watch it. But we definitely think this is the entrance. I think the most iconic bit is these doors, Tom. <laughs> oh. Do you know what I feel like? Sweet life of Zach and Cody. <laughs> this is the sweet life. Do, 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 do. I'll show you it from the outside now. So we think this is where he runs in. We think it's this entrance, which is just round the corner. Yeah, where the pizza was here and the limo. And it gets in the limit because if you look at the picture on the background, you can just see like trees and stuff. Oh, like can that. you? Yeah. So right, let's cross and go look from over here. That was like amazing. I loved that. Yeah, that's Defo's. Definitely. That's Defo, the bit oh, in it. Flags. Yeah, the flags. That, I think their flags are usually there, aren't they? We think that's the limo and the pizza bit for sure. So yeah, I don't think they have a problem with you going in, but what I will say is round that entrance where we were stood initially, it did say residence only. Round this side bit, it doesn't say that, does it? No. Um, the only bit that said residence only was the, when we went in and in turned the... left and there was like the reception check-in yeah. bit. It said um, residence only, so I'd just say go in, like loads of other people went in. We were stood outside for ages thinking probably not allowed, but then like loads of people went in, so we thought, oh, well, let's yeah. just do it. But, um, I don't feel like we've got a good feel of the hotel, but it's just walking in, isn't it, and just being in. Yeah. I felt a little bit of a daredevil going in there. I don't <laughs> I did know actually, why. I felt a little bit like we shouldn't be here. Tom felt proper on it. I did. I felt out. a little bit like, Ugh. Anyways, I think we're just going to move you around now, yeah. are we? I was looking for power. Where's that? Well, it's that big black building there. Oh, okay. I'd like to see the front of it. Okay, let's go. We've just realised we are actually, we think, on Fifth Avenue because we can see Louis Vuitton there, Dior was round that corner, Apple look, big Apple shop Tom there. Oh, Apple shops are the coolest. Yeah they are. Um, and then this bus station says Fifth Avenue and West 58th Street so 
I'm guessing just by all the expensive shops. I if we can see any more. What's well, this shop? Trump Tower on Fifth Avenue. I don't know, let's Google it. I just love all, I just love these revolving doors in the hotel. Yeah, Van Cleef look. This is definitely, definitely Fifth Avenue, which we were wondering where that was, weren't we? Um, it doesn't surprise me that hotel is literally on Fifth Avenue though, or next to it. But this is just what Tiffany and Co. Trump Tower there, the signs there, Tom. Yeah, yeah. I'm just in a little bit of like Saint Laurent. Yeah, this is 100 percent it. And look at that building there. So nice. Trump Tower is actually open to the public between eight till ten. No idea what's inside it, but like I want to go in. Yeah, let's go. Right, let's go. Here we go. Oh, the doors again. Maybe this is just, I think it's just everywhere, these doors, isn't it? Wow, they're fast. I oh. think he was just pushing them fast. Oh. <laughs> wow. Oh, so Gucci and that, are they in here then? No, they're not. I think they're buildings on either side. Oh. Wow, it's stunning, isn't it? All bags are subject to search. What's in there? I don't know. Just like, look at even like, look at that wall. Ooh, let's go that wall. Trump star, Tom. Huh. Trump star. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Trump grill, Tom. That looks nice, doesn't it? Oh, it says here, look. Tommy, there's a wine and whiskey in the lobby. Wine and whiskey thing. Oh, is that it there? I don't know. I think we need to go up or down. Trump Sweets. So they've got like ice cream. So if you're looking for like an ice cream or a cupcake, they have that. And then they have Trump Grill. And then they have, I think that might be a little bar. Oh, there's loads of stuff. And then that's how you get into Trump Star. After walking around Central Park for a bit, we went and tried to find the little um, Stuart little house, but mm, we don't know yeah, the guy and the thing. I bet he showed us where it was, but I'm not 100% sure that we could find it. Yeah, we but when no, because when he showed us it, it would look. It literally looked like. The yeah, thing. but it does say on, like online that there was, it's closed, so like you know you could um, like it's been renovated. Yeah. Anyways, we've come and stopped up for a bite of something to eat. We're not actually that hungry, to be fair. But I spotted a pizza pretzel, which if you watched our Florida vlogs, you'll know my obsession. I won't like, it doesn't look like the ones in Florida. They were pepperoni. This is what it looks like. I think it's just like meant to be like a cheese pizza. Yeah. Um, and, and then I got Tom, a corn dog. Which, so yeah. again, it's just coming to wrap a but Gatorade, which is just like Powerade, I'm We're just literally sure. living our American living dream. Living the dream, having dinner in Central Park. What a dream. Taste test of your corn Taste dog. Taste test, but this isn't a corn dog. Ah. Just, it's just a hot dog roll ah. thing. It's not actually a corn dog. It was so called a something pretzel. I've been cheated. Oh. It's just a hot dog pretzel. It literally is bread. Mm. That's sad. Is it nice though? Yeah, it's very nice. Very nice look. Not a corn not dog. Not a corn dog. I'm a bit sad. We got these to share by the way. Like I'm not going to eat all this but I'm sad because it, it, oh, it's got cheese inside it. Oh. It's not, not the pizza pretzel from Universal but it's okay. It's now a little bit later on. We have just freshened up i was gonna say got ready but definitely just freshened up for this evening i think the last time we spoke we were in central park having lunch the camera battery died but you haven't really missed much um so dinner it was all right wasn't it like in comparison to uh what are they called pizza pretzel and universal it was like a two out of ten i won't lie and your corn dog wasn't even a corn, it wasn't dog. A corn dog. I was a little bit upset with that, not gonna lie, but uh... it wasn't what we expected, but it was fine. Um, and then we literally we just pottering around Central Park all afternoon, weren't we? Yeah, literally just had walked walked back to all the points that we went to on the move on the pedicab tour. Yeah. And then just yeah, mooched our way back through Times Square, went to a few shops. Yeah, we literally just mooched down Fifth Avenue and Times Square in Central Park so yeah like I say you've not really missed much we've come back had a quick half hour power nap and then literally got ready in about five minutes haven't we? Uh, yeah that's exactly what's gone on. How handsome does my fiance look? Yeah. 
Yeah. Come and show us your outfit. Look so gorgeous. Thanks. We're a little bit like I've just got literal cargos, a top, a blazer, and then I've got my um converse on. But we're a little bit like hmm because we booked this rooftop bar and it says that you like they've got a bit of a dress code and none of us have brought like I mean you look really nice. Nothing know. I'm wearing smart behind a blazer. Of course you do. Look yeah, but I'm not smart. Yeah, well, I'm not smart. Did we it say like, like sophisticated on there? Did it say sophisticated yeah, and classy it did, yeah. or something? Yeah. I mean, I don't look any of that. Um, my hair's like a frizz bump because obviously I've got no styler. But we're just going to roll with it. But we're hoping, I don't know if we mentioned this earlier on or not, we're hoping we're going to do the um, night bus tour tonight, which we really, really, really want to do, don't we? So we yeah, might, we we'll see what the weather's like, but we might have to come back. Well, on the way and put like a jumper on, the, on. on the way back so we're gonna go one way a little bit to the uh cocktail bar yeah. and then the bus tours right away the other side so we do actually have to pass yeah. the hotel we're much. literally going to the cocktail bar for like a drink um i don't know what we're gonna do for food there's like a like that restaurant type thing in our hotel downstairs it looks like a really nice restaurant in our hotel or we can go to shake shack what would you prefer to do uh I'll, let's go have a look at the one in the hotel yeah see what we think if okay we think, no this isn't a bit of us we'll go shake, shake shack. shack shake shack when we walk past today just looks a little bit to us like five guys you know like that kind of vibe um but either way it's probably going to be like burgers and chips in it yeah but i think so at the hotel yeah that's what i mean wherever we go i think it's going to be that so we're going to go for some tea like a quick tea then we're going to go to the cocktail bar for a drink we're gonna maybe come back and then hopefully, I really, really, really hope we can get on that bus tour. We decided to come to the restaurant in our hotel room. In our hotel room. We have one in our hotel room. That'd be a good hotel, room. wouldn't it? I don't even know if this is a restaurant in our hotel or if it's just, it's just linked, linked on to it. Yeah. Um, I'm not sure what it's called, but literally, you don't even have to go out the hotel. You just walk through like a door. Um, Black tap. Black tap. What? Black tap. Burgers and beers. I think I'm going to go for a chicken sandwich. I'm going to go for the Californian chicken, which is grilled chicken, avocado, Swiss, pickled onions and mayo. But I'm going to ask for the mayo and put barbecue sauce on it. And I don't have a clue what Swiss is, do you? No idea. So that'll be a surprise when it comes. Um, and what are you going for? I'm going to go for the all-American burger, which is just prime burger, American cheese and special sauce. Oh, I wonder what the special sauce is. No. Did it not say? When in America, no, just a special. Ah, oh, nice. How good does this look? The portions are just so big though, aren't they? Portions are always massive. Absolutely huge, but it looks so nice. That's I've mine. Proper and that's Tom's. skin on fries, but... Yeah, they're our favourite them, aren't they? Yeah, they are. I'm still wondering what that stuff is. I don't know. Who knows, but it looks gorgeous. This is my burger sauce. Don't know what it is, but... Oh. Just for like normal burger sauce, like when you're going to Big Mac, right? Is it? Yeah. Nice. Yeah. We've just got to the place where we had the rooftop bar booked and we went in and we were like, got a table booked and we're like, mm, don't think you've got one for today because there's a private event going on. So Tom was like, oh, I've got an email. So he got his email up. He booked it for the 17th of April, which was last week. It's 24th of April today. So we don't have a rooftop bar booked. However, a couple down from our hotel there is a rooftop bar, so why don't we just go try and get on there? Yeah. So yeah. yeah, love that for us and it looks like a really, really it's nice hotel cool. as well. Like we're just sat literally you come in there and it's just absolutely gorgeous. But never mind babe. Look Let's the, go try and get in the other one. They're using that from here though. Here's what you could have had. <laughs> Tom's not happy because his beer's not got a head. It looks like apple juice. <laughs> I didn't actually think that was my beer. I thought I should have got my beer. I didn't feel like that was it. Maybe it's more like cider. <laughs> Right, okay, basically, no, basically we went to the rooftop bar to 
two dogs out from our thing and guess what there's a private event so there must be loads of private events going on tonight we went back up to our hotel room just to change because obviously we're off on the bus tour we've not changed properly i've just put a hoodie on so it's tom just so we're nice and warm i didn't bring a hoodie so i've nicked one of tom's um just because i had a t-shirt and a blazer on and i thought i'll be shivering i'm always cold aren't i um so we've just both put hoodies on um and then we've just come without going over what he's not happy with his beer he's really sad because he wanted to go to a rooftop bar it looks so good and i'm upset that there's no tickets for the rise new york tomorrow we wanted to go to rise new york but it's our own fault we should have booked it we should have booked basically it. rise new york is apparently meant to be like soaring in epcot if you've been to disney um it's meant to be the same as that but obviously not the same again. one of you guys recommended it to us and we're so good because we didn't book it we might be able to get a ticket yeah maybe. we'll see tomorrow but yeah so that's two rooftop bars that have got private events i can't really say anything to you because i booked your covid test for the wrong day last time we went on holiday oh, yeah. so i can't really talk anyways we've come to our hotel bar just to have a little drink before we go try imagine if we don't get these let's not even put out there we want to get bus tickets for the bus tour but the night version i think that's gonna be fantastic i think it'd be amazing if we can get on but i mean it's 20 past seven now so we need to drink and hurry up um, so Tom ordered a lager, which as you've just seen, I'm pretty happy with. I've ordered a passion fruit mojito. Passion fruit mojito. Was it passion fruit mojito? Yeah. No, passion fruit mojito. Um, but this is very unlike me because usually I hate mint in a cocktail. I don't know why I went for this because I really don't like mint in a cocktail and that's like the mintiest thing going, but I'm going to try anyway. Mmm. Yeah. Try that. Oh, I knew you were going to sell that. That's so, I love anything passion fruit. That's why I went for it. No, Tom, you can't really taste it that much. Adds to it. No, it doesn't. Oh. Well, yeah. I don't usually like mint, but that's actually really nice. What, is it better than your lager? Well, yeah. <laughs> well then. <laughs> we managed to get on. We literally were walking for ages and we didn't think we were going to find someone who sold, someone who sold the tickets. And then we saw the sign. Right past it, by the way. We're yeah. This Times Square is right Yeah, just in case anyone's wanting to buy the tickets, it's literally. The big steps at Times Square, you'll know what we mean if you get here. The yeah, big steps these, at Times Square. Yeah. Um, and then it's literally right in the middle. It's. Yeah. Right you'll know what we mean. Hershey's. Yeah, opposite right. Hershey's, but like we say, you'll know exactly what we mean when we say the big steps. Um, it was nineteen dollars per person, but in total with tax it was fifty four. Tax and fees, yeah, not just tax, but fees on that as well. But we, I think we've stood in queue for about what? Oh, I know. About 15, Twenty minutes. Twenty minutes. But we were like, oh, because it was like semi dark. We were like, do we wait? Because yeah, actually, the last one goes at midnight, which is amazing. So it goes from six, I think, till midnight. It's as busy. It's as dark now. As it's That's what I was gonna say. So we stood in queue for like twenty minutes, and now. It's literally pitch black, so this is going to be so much fun. I'm really excited for this. Also, we think we've got a live person, which is amazing. And I can hear her. Well, I can hear exactly what she's saying. Oh, so you put the headphones in and you can hear her live. Yeah, she's having a normal conversation at the minute. She'll talk to us. Oh, that's even better, isn't it? Yeah, I think so. Ah, see.
So tell me what you waiting So we've just got back to our hotel. Hello. Do you know what? That night bus tour. Night bus tour. Incredible. Absolutely. Like the views. Out of this world. It was freezing there. So what I would say. I've still not warmed up. And we're probably we were sat with our hour. hoods up, hence the frizzy hair. Like we were just sat. But I just say if you're gonna do it, wrap up warm. Yeah, wrap up warm and just do it. That it's, is one of those things that I would say. That's on you, my top three of recommendations. Same. At the end, we'll do a rounder. Yeah. In the last vlog, but so far it's in the top three. If it's between the day bus tour and the night, one hundred thousand percent the night. It was she just the walking views. Walking commentary. Uh, not walking, live, live. Live commentary. commentary. She was amazing. She knew every fact going. She was incredible. She like was I, I said, so I've said good. this a lot in the vlogs, but I don't know how I remember it all, but she was fantastic. She was amazing. Um, but yeah, I would highly recommend. Do you know, I've had such a nice night. It's like half ten now. So it's like a good hour and a half, hour and 40 minutes long. Um, but yeah, it was just thank you. It was Pleasure. just incredible. Would highly, 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 highly recommend. But now we've got a pack because tomorrow is our last day. Oh. We have got we have got a full day, but we are travelling back We've home. We've got a full busy day tomorrow. Yeah, actually. we have. What are we doing tomorrow? We're off up the edge, the glass floor, the glass wall. I said to Tom, I said to Tom, you've put my um, fears to the test here because I'm scared of heights. Well, so far we've been in a helicopter ride. Yep. And we're doing that. Can't wait to do that. And then yeah, I think we're going to go maybe have a look around Grand Central Station. Yeah, we went past that on the bus tour. It looked really, it really There's good. There's a lot of films that were filmed in there. Um, But yeah, bus tour I would highly recommend. I don't think you'd get to see those views if you didn't do it. Yeah. But we're going to have a quick shower. I think I'm going to pack in the morning. Oh, you won't get up early enough. I will. You I can't, will. I can't do that. Tonight. Oh. I'm ready for it. I'm feeling the pack in this. All right, maybe Sad I will. I'm feeling it. Let's make a cuppa. Yeah, make and then the pack. Machine. So we are going to go ahead and wrap up today's vlog here. We really hope you've enjoyed spending another day in New York City with another us. Day in paradise. If you have, then please don't forget to give the video a big thumbs up. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn the notification bell so you don't miss any of our videos. And we shall see you in the next one. Bye. Bye.